In this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 10 on your Mac operating system using uh, VirtualBox. So you need two things in order to install uh, Windows 10 on VirtualBox. The first one is obvious, which is VirtualBox on your Mac operating system. So if you don't have uh, already installed uh, VirtualBox on your Mac operating system, just to install it, the process is really easy. If you want to uh, know the instruction, I will put the link of the video in the description of this video uh, so you can see how you can install VirtualBox. The second thing you need is the Windows 10 ISO file. So the best way is to buy a Windows 10 uh, operating system for, from the official website and you will be able to get the ISO file for the Windows 10. If you just want to evaluate Windows 10 and you want to decide if Windows 10 is uh, the right operating system for you or not, Microsoft also allows you to uh, use Windows 10 on a trial basis for 90 days and you can download the ISO file and use it for 90 days and decide if you want to use it uh, further also. So I'm going to show you how you can download that trial version of Windows 10. You just need to open your favorite browser and search for Windows 10 Enterprise Trial. And the first link which will appear here will be from Microsoft.com. Uh, so just click on that link. And once the website is open, you will be able to see the procedure how you can download this Windows 10 Enterprise Edition for the 90 days trial period. So here you just need to select the ISO Enterprise and then click on continue and, and here you can uh, provide the information about you and your company and your uh, job title and uh, once you click on continue you will be able to download that ISO file. So once you have downloaded the ISO file it's going to look like this. So I have already downloaded this ISO file. So now we are ready to install Windows 10 on our Mac operating system. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just click on this uh, new button here and you will see this window which says name and operating system. So I will name my uh, virtual machine as Windows 10 itself. You can choose the folder where you want to save your virtual machine. I will leave it as default. Here you can choose the type which is automatically uh, selected for us which is Microsoft uh, uh, Windows and also the version which is Windows 10 64 bit. You can also choose the different version of Windows by this uh, list. I have downloaded the Windows 10 64 bit uh, operating system ISO file so I will choose this one and then click on continue here. Now uh, here you need to uh, provide the memory size so I will just move this memory size to a reasonable level and then click on continue and now on the next page you will see hard disk. So I will leave it as default which is create a virtual hard disk uh, now okay and then click on create and now here on the next uh, window you will see hard disk file type leave it as default which is VDI which is virtual box disk image which is uh, recommended also so I will just click on continue and on the next page you need to provide the storage or physical hard disk and uh, I generally choose dynamically allocated because uh, it will not be fixed size so if your uh, uh, usage increases then the uh, memory will be allocated dynamically right. So now click on uh, next here you can uh, choose the file location and size so this will be the file location so that's okay for me and the size is also okay for me you can also increase or decrease this uh, file size so let's say I want to just uh, use around 50 GB uh, of uh, my disk space and then I'm going to click on create here which is going to create this virtual device but still we haven't provided the path of our ISO file to our virtual machine which we have created. So you don't need to click uh, yet you need to just select your virtual machine and then click on the settings option and once you click on the settings option you will be able to see uh, 
some settings related to your virtual machine. The first one is general, so you can uh, change the name here. In the advanced setting under general, I will recommend you to uh, choose bidirectional for the shared clipboard and drag and drop. This will allow you to drag uh, and drop file from your Mac operating system into your Windows operating system and vice versa. Now I'm going to select uh, system here and uh, and under system settings I will just go to uh, the processors. By default VirtualBox allocates one processor for your virtual machine. I will increase it uh, until four, until uh, this green mark and then I will uh, just go ahead in the display. Dis in the display I will leave everything as default. Then I will just click on storage and here you can provide your Windows 10 ISO file path. So here what you need to do, you need to click on this uh, empty disk uh, icon here. So this icon and then you just need to click on this disk icon. So click on this disk icon here and then click on choose disk file. Okay, so click on choose a disk file. And because I have saved uh, this ISO file on my desktop, I will just navigate to the desktop folder and then I will choose this ISO file which I have downloaded which is this one for my Windows 10 evaluation version. And then I'm going to just click on open which is going to provide the path. You can uh, also verify this path uh, by seeing here the location of that path. And once everything is done, you can leave the other settings as default. You can change these settings uh, at the later stages also. So I will just click on OK now. And now you are ready to uh, start your virtual machine and start the installation of Windows 10 as a virtual machine. So just select your virtual machine and then click on Start. And here you will be able to uh, see uh, this kind of window where your ISO file name will appear. So you can see this is the name of my ISO file. So just uh, uh, leave it as default. If you uh, have multiple options here, you just need to choose the ISO file which you want to use for your virtual machine. Then click on Start. So it's going to start the installation of uh, Windows 10 on your virtual box. Also, I can see uh, this message which says, VirtualBox would like to uh, control this computer using accessibility feature. Grant access to this application in security and privacy. So I'm going to just click on uh, uh, open system uh, preferences, which is going to open the system preferences for uh, me, system preferences window. And you can uh, close this uh, window now. Okay, so you can see now you will see the installation of uh, Windows 10 has been started. It's a relatively small uh, uh, window, so it will be a little bit hard to view this uh, for the first time. So on this window, uh, you can choose the language in which you want to install uh, Windows 10. Also, you can choose uh, the time and currency format and also choose the keyboard input. So I'm using the German keyboard, so I will uh, choose the German uh, keyboard from here. If it's available, I think it will be uh, available here. So just choose uh, the keyboard and the language in which you want to install uh, Windows 10 on your uh, virtual machine. And then click on Next, and then click on Install Now. And now on this page, you just need to check this checkbox which says I accept the license terms and conditions and then click on next. So, so I'm going to choose custom here and then on the next window it's asking me where do you want to install windows. So I will uh, for now leave everything as default. You can change uh, this uh, later also and I'm going to just click on next and now you can see uh, installing windows. It's going to show you the process of installation. So copying Windows file, getting files ready for installation, and then uh, once everything is done, then we will move to the next step. So just wait for this installation to complete. So now the installation is finished and everything is happening automatically. So it's uh, restarting the Windows uh, operating system. So just uh, wait for the restart. 
and now it says uh, starting uh, services getting a uh, device ready so just wait for this process to complete and now I can see this message which says just a moment so here also I need to uh, wait for uh, some time now if you don't see uh, this kind of uh, window automatically you might want to just uh, restart your virtual machine once again so you can just click on uh, this uh, cross button and then check uh, the power of the machine and then click on OK uh, but that's only when you don't see this kind of uh, machine right so here uh, it's asking me to choose the region so I'm going to just uh, leave it as default which is United States and clicks on uh, the yes button and then the keyboard layout as I said I have German keyboard layout so I will choose that uh, you can choose the keyboard layout which uh, you have on your Mac operating system and then I'm going to click on yes and then I will just click on skip option here and now uh, I can see the next window which is asking me to sign in with my Microsoft account so I don't want to use my uh, Microsoft account so what I can do here is I can just click on this option which says uh, domain join instead so I'm going to just click on this option which says domain join instead which is going to give me this kind of uh, interface so here I can provide the name of my PC I will just name it as CB in my case and then click on next and then uh, here I can provide the password so I'm going to just provide the password here and then click on next and then I'm going to re-enter the password and then click on next and here you can choose uh, the security question I will uh, just quickly uh, fill that I will choose the set random answers because this video is just for the demonstration purposes so I will just add those security questions and then click on next and here it says do more across devices with activity history I will just choose no for now and now it says get help from your digital assistant I will just accept it and then uh, uh, and then I can see the next window which says choose privacy settings so here in the privacy settings I will just uh, say no 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 here because I don't want to share anything uh, from my Windows operating system so I will just choose uh, no everywhere and now I will just click on accept and now my Windows operating system is starting slowly and now I can see uh, my Windows operating system so you can see we have successfully installed this Windows operating system on our Mac operating system using VirtualBox now you will also observe here when you just click on this uh, uh, window to maximize the size of uh, our uh, Windows operating system uh, on our Mac operating system it's going to just uh, show us this kind of window which does not resizes according to our uh, window on our Mac operating system so to solve this problem we uh, need to install VirtualBox guest edition on our Windows uh, guest so to install VirtualBox guest editions on your uh, Windows 10 uh, guest machine you just need to click on uh, this devices option here and then click on insert guest editions CD image which is going to insert the guest editions CD image on this Windows operating system and once you click on the insert guest edition CD you just need to click on this folder icon here on uh, your Windows uh, 10 guest machine and then click on this PC and you will be able to see this CD uh, drive which says uh, VirtualBox guest editions so just click on this uh, icon which says VirtualBox guest editions and then you just need to click on VBox Windows editions and then click on yes and then click on next and next and then click on install which is going to install VirtualBox guest editions on your uh, guest machine which is Windows 10 and now click on install here once again and once it's finished 
it's asking me to reboot my Windows 10 guest machine. So just uh, leave it as reboot now and then click on finish which is going to restart your Windows 10 operating system on your Mac operating system. So let's wait for the restart and then provide your uh, Windows 10 password and then press enter. So now once your uh, Windows operating system restarts, you can uh, just resize this window and you will observe that your Windows 10 guest uh, operating system also resizes according to uh, the size of this window. You can also double click on uh, this uh, window which is going to resize your Windows operating system here, right? So now you can use uh, Windows 10 operating system